Great leaders brought universal peace to the world, as well as a one-world government. His name is Franco Macaluso. He also has another name. everything in its power to stop these people. Remember when the phone used to ring? Citizens turning in haters. Sons, daughters, fathers, by the thousands. Ridding the world of its garbage. No. The world has grown very, very lazy. People flip by these reports without as much as a second thought. Meanwhile, the haters are out there amongst us believing what they believe, spreading their poison and ruining it for the rest of us. That is why I have sent for you, Ms. Thorne. It is time to awaken some good old-fashioned bitterness among the citizens of this world. I want everyone on one side. What did you have in mind, sir? A precedent-setting case. One with God's little champion, as an example. I want her to remind the world of what it is like to follow God. Her? Who, Your Eminence? Helen Hannah. She's going to do more for me than she ever did for him. I thought that she was already dead. So did she. I'm going home. your predicament but I'm a lawyer not a social worker I heard that you may be the only one who can help what are you doing put that don't be stupid put that down what makes you think I'm not gonna have you arrested right now look we're starving we've got some money but we can't use it without that mark we can't buy we can't sell we're totally shut out of the system why not just pledge allegiance join one nation earth it is a world of opportunity out there I'm not a hater but I know what happens to those who take that mark. Trust me, I do sympathize with you. But is it worth starving? You realize if you're caught, they can... Not thinking of hiding evidence, are you, Mitch? Here she go. You 
You talk about me not playing by the rules. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. What do you want this time? Oh, don't flatter yourself. I just want to talk. Well, talk. I'm listening. I'm waiting. Turn it off. <laughs> Come to tell me dirty little secrets about yourself, Vicky? Oh, if only my dirty little secrets were nearly as juicy as yours. Hey, look, what do you want? I want you to be part of the biggest trial in history. Oh, am I being arrested? Oh, <laughs> that would be fun. This is almost as good. One Nation Earth's Court of Justice, global coverage against me. Mm. You'd be defending Helen Hanna for her crimes against humanity. Helen Hanna, the hater. <sighs> Why me? Because you're still seen as fair and just. Gives credibility to the case. Just think, Mitch, this is your second chance to be a real man. Besides, you're the only defense counsel with this type of experience. Well, the one hater trial is enough for any career. Maybe I'm not making myself clear. I'm not asking. Vicky, you can't. You know I can. 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, the judges' chambers, World Justice Building. I'll see you then. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's all there. You know your partner won't see the inside of this office again. Shouldn't be any questions. You're welcome to leave. What is this? You've scripted this entire trial? You're surprised, Counselor? Well, well, Miss Thorne's little sales pitch failed to mention a script, failed to mention a predetermined verdict on page 356. Sit down, Kendrick. Now, I don't know what Miss Thorne did to get you through that door, and frankly, I don't care. We've got a job to do for One Nation Earth, and we are gonna do it. It's gonna look real, it's gonna feel real, it's gonna be everything but real. And if it's not, then by the time this trial ends, someone in this room will no longer be enjoying the benefits of our new global community. Clear enough for you? Today, the world watches as the biggest trial in history begins. Hater Helen Hanna has formally been charged with hatred of the human race. Despite overwhelming evidence, this former WNN anchor and his vegetarist leader is reported to be claiming her innocence and preaching her blasphemy. This is Stacey Gruber from WNN, reporting from the One Nation Earth Court of Justice. I can't believe it. She's still alive. Yeah, well, I'll bet she wishes she wasn't. They're going to humiliate her in court, and then they're going to kill her. I can't imagine what she must be going through. God help her. No, sweetheart. God help those who help themselves. They're already calling us terrorists. I say it's time we do something about it. JT, what are you saying? I'm talking about Helen's escape. I know she'd be heavily guarded, but with a few of our people and a solid plan? <sighs> Make me a widow in the process? No, Sherry. You got a better idea? And think of all that Helen sacrificed, right? But what a blow it would be to Macaluso to lose a celebrity like her. Right. Violence is the only thing this dude would understand. Black guy for black guy. Broken tooth for broken tooth. Look, you know I'd like to do something. Those guys murdered my husband right in front of me, but it's the exact wrong message we want to be sending. There is another way. Well, I'm tired of waiting for it. JT. formally charged with the world's highest crime, hatred of humanity. Everyone knows you're guilty. 
But you still have two choices. You can take the mark, you can walk out of here free, or you can die. All right, look, I really don't care either way, but as your lawyer, I have to recommend that you take the mark. If you're praying to your God, I'd give it up. He doesn't care, and he is not gonna get you out of here. You have no idea what he's capable of. Are you so sure that you do? Guard! Good television. Try and enjoy the show. All rise. The One Nation Earth Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Thornton Wells presiding. Case number 657-908. One Nation Earth versus Helen Hanna on the charge of hatred of the human race. Will the accused please rise? How do you plead? We plead. Not guilty. Order! Order in this courtroom. Miss Prosecutor, are we ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. Citizens of the world, we're here today to decide the fate of Helen Hanna. Miss Hanna is charged with hatred of the human race. I intend to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that she does indeed hate. Hates me, hates you, hates all of our glorious new world. I want you to imagine something with me. Imagine that we are all on a huge boat, a boat called Earth, and that this boat is floating down the river of time. Up ahead, there is an enormous waterfall. If we don't do something soon, we're all going to drown. In the midst of this panic and despair, miraculously, an incredible leader stands up. He's unlike anyone before him, and he speaks with such truth and wisdom and he makes us realize that in order to save ourselves, we're going to have to work together. We're going to have to put aside our bigotry and our prejudices. We're going to have to pick up our paddles and work together. And we do. We do. And just like our new leader said we would, we begin to overcome the current. Because united, people, we can do anything. However, despite these miraculous events, some people say that our new leader is evil and that what we're doing is wrong. And they start to knock the paddles out of our hands and push us out of the boat. Helen Hanna is one of these people. As a former TV news anchor, she says she's telling the truth. The truth is that she wants us to go over the falls. God's will be done. She doesn't care about you or me or our earth today, our boat. No, she cares about herself and her beliefs. How else could you possibly explain the brutal killing of innocent children? On the charge of hatred of the human race, Helen Hanna must be found guilty. 
People like her must be found guilty, and for the benefit of the human race, the sentence must be death. This is a setup. Sit down, be quiet. You're one of them. I said, you shall be good! with you freaking out like that. I noticed you said run a trial and not win a trial. Helen, your fate is in your hands, in your hands alone. Believe me, I've seen it. God is not gonna help. Look, Helen, I know how much you wanna hang on to your beliefs, but if you think God is just gonna reach down and walk you out of here, you're crazy. This, this is reality. This is about your life. My life on this earth, it's only a small part. Please! Please, if you want to die, that's fine. But do not, do not lecture me about your suicide cult. I'm sorry that you got sucked into it, but I'm not going to. And any god that demands that kind of loyalty is a menace. And maybe it's time somebody pointed that out. Guard! Defense, proceed with your opening argument. <clears throat> your honors, people of the world, Prosecution is right. We do live in a new world. A global world in which we all find ourselves in the same boat. All rowing together for the common good. But you see, there's a problem. Not all of us are rowing. There are some, like the defendant, who refuse to put aside their antiquated beliefs, who refuse to help everyone else. Instead, they continue in their selfish ways. But you know something? I don't believe that it is their way. No, I think Helen Hanna is just following orders. Helen Hanna is a pawn. So the question is, do we put the mindless puppet on trial or do we put her master on trial? Where are you going with this, Counselor? Your Honor, this... This trial is not about Helen Hanna. It's not about the terrorist act she has or has not committed. No. I suggest that this trial is about... who she follows. Get to the point. Let's not put the follower on trial. The willless automaton. No, let's... Let's put her master on trial. Order! Let's put Helen Hannah's God on trial. Order! 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 Order in this court! Counsel, in my chambers. I'm not gonna take it lying down. You will be if you keep this up. What do you think you're doing? Going after the real criminal. And who might that be, Mitch? Please, Mitch. I just think that we're going after the wrong person. If we execute Helen Hanna, we're going to be creating a martyr. A freedom fighter who is willing to die for her cause. And a lot of people are going to admire that. Therefore, it's that cause, her God, that we need to destroy, not her. Sir, you have done in two years what God has not been able to do in 5,000 years. Let's tell the world who the real Savior is. Your zeal becomes you, Mitch.
The world serves me. Not because they hate Helen Hannah. The world serves me because they love me. I agree. It is time to bring a judgment against God. And Hannah and the rest will be implicated by association. I shall cherish this moment for eternity. God found guilty of his crimes against his creation by his creation. Alert the media. Drop the script. Why didn't you leave this trial about me? Do you hate God that much? No, I hate what he makes you people do. Like what? Love our neighbors? Stand up for the truth? How about dying for something that doesn't make any sense? And by the way, speaking about loving your neighbor, does that include killing children? I'm innocent. We're all innocent. We haven't killed anyone. You can't see it, can you? This trial isn't about me or even God. What exactly is it about, Helen? It's about Macaluso. Lucifer himself in a war with God. A war for the heart and soul of every person on the planet. And by making it look like those who don't take his mark are terrorists, he's making it politically correct to wipe us out. Oh, so he's framing you. The man who saved Earth from destruction, who brought global peace and harmony, is framing you. That is quite an accusation. Who Macaluso is, his one world government. That mark on your hand. All the proof you need is in the Bible. A book that's been banned. Won't that be helpful? I'm sorry, Helen, but I need evidence. I need some hard evidence. What's this? An email address is this. I understand you're very good at your job. Kendrick is coloring outside the lines a little bit. We need to rein him in. The trial builds the biggest trial in history has indeed taken on epic proportions today. Mitch Kendrick, the son of executed hater Seth Kendrick, argued that his client was simply a mindless follower of the true face of evil, Jesus Christ. Suddenly, the defendant of this unparalleled case is God Almighty. What's that lawyer done? Instead of Lucas, we being played with the lousy lawyer. It's time to put our faith into action. JT, please, don't do anything. Don't do this, don't do that. For heaven's sake, I'm a believer too. And as a believer, you should act like one. Let me tell you something. You and Selma don't have a monopoly on God's will. You know, sometimes God calls ordinary people to action, to sacrifice, to risk. Now, if they won't find brimstone, then they are gonna get it. But who knows best, you or God? Okay, Sherry, if you want to put this in God's hand, fine. I'm through with sitting on mine. From Helen's lawyer. It's a code to send Swag's tape. Your hand's been in a waffle iron once the freezing wears off. Let me give you some painkillers. I'll manage. All right. Great, we're in. There. 
you are now registered. You shouldn't have any problem with the detectors or credit checks. <laughs> Just don't tell anyone about it, or me. No offense, but it's not something I want to talk about. None taken. You know, there's nothing else we can do. We're just gonna have to offer Kendrick more. Pay hundred dollars right now for some fried rat. Are you telling me that you think we made a mistake, Resistant? Don, I... Dave, this trial could prove the truth. The truth? That's what we're looking for. You know, I could just get, like, one sex right there. You think they'd let me buy some pizza? <laughs> <laughs> no, some pineapple pizza, anything. I'm serious. Change your mind about the pain. Killers. No calling. Just visiting. If you know, you don't have to. No. If you want to play, you're going to have to play by the rules. The ONE wants you to help them find the key haters. So, you're going to gain Helen's confidence, so she'll tell you where their locations are, meeting places, license numbers, whatever you can get. What makes you think she'll trust me? You have a way with women. Tell her the story about your father. I'm sure that'll warm her heart. Mitch, I know you feel helpless, but it's only because you stay lost in the middle. You know what they say, good fruit can't fall from a bad tree. Well, you better warn your kids. This case is good for the entire world. Well, this case is good for you. You know what? When we were together, I really admired you. I did, until I saw you with your father. You couldn't stop him from preaching. You were too weak to even choose a side for yourself. So yes, I finally did something. I did that for you. You know the sad part is? In the end, you couldn't even save his life.
It's good to see you guys still in an old neighborhood. I thought everybody was gone. Neighborhood? What neighborhood? Baskin Robbins used to be right over there at 31 Flavors. My favorite was Rocky Road. I guess that's no man. Look, guys, I need some help. I'm bringing somebody out to One Nation Earth Court, and I'll do anything to get it done. Let me guess. Rescue Helen Hannah. And here I was thinking you wanted to do something tough. I know it's crazy, but that's why you guys are perfect for it. Don, with your computer skill and your knowledge of the O.N.E., it'll be a piece of cake. Tempting as it sounds, JT. All the money in the world can't help us if we can't use it. Wait a minute. I got something that jams the mark detectors. Okay, food. Lots and lots of food. A and chocolate. Sure, and a place to stay. Nothing great. No rocky road. But a whole lot better than what you got around here. That's not for protection, is it? Sit down. Do your clients know about your little defects? Your um, problem with alcohol? Years of therapy? All to no avail. Certain other little secrets. Oh, it's it's all right. Nobody knows anything. It's just that I I have a certain feeling for these things. I like you, Mitch. You have certain qualities: self-centeredness, self-pity, pride, vengefulness. These are qualities that I like. Combined with a certain hatred for God, it makes for a delicious combination. You are going to bring a certain reality to this trial. Passion. You're going to be great. You're going to do a great job. Just like you did at your father's trial. Only... There have to be certain boundaries. Helen Hannah is not to testify on God's behalf. I don't want to hear anything about God's love in the courtroom. Is that clear? Go. Oh, one more thing. I always like to have the last word in these matters. You'll call me up to the witness stand before the trial ends. Alan, check the cable. Ah. Scrambling device. They're monitoring us. Thought I'd give us some privacy. All right, Helen. I watched the tape. I believe that you're innocent, but there is no way that I'm gonna be able to enter that into court. The only way that you're gonna walk out of here is to take the mark. We know the answer to that, don't we? So that's it then, huh? Victory comes for you in dying? What kind of stupidity is that? 
you have any idea how many children have lost their parents because their parents believe in your God instead of their families? It's like you're all, it's like you're all, like you're brainwashed. Is that what you told your father? How could I not know? It was the biggest trial in history. The first world justice show trial. He was one of us. And all he had to do was say he didn't believe it. Just say those three or four words and he'd still be here today, but he couldn't do it. Could he? Because once you people get in your head that you do it God's will, there's no more reason, there's no more logic. That's enough. If you didn't have that mark on your hand, maybe you'd see the truth. The truth? Oh, that's good coming from you, Helen. You think you have all the answers, don't you? Well, you don't even come close. Do you think you could do a better job, Eric? Well, it's not working, and now we're gonna have to report it. You know what that means, paperwork, reviews. Fine. It's black market. Fools the allegiance detectors. So what do you believe in? Me. I believe in me, Mitch Kendrick, period. I don't follow some, some sorcerer from this world, and I certainly don't believe in some father who art in heaven. Mitch. So I don't need to hear about the afterlife, Helen. I don't need my father scratched. I watch, I saw what it costs him. I'm not gonna stick my neck out for some God who turns his back on the world and forces a father to abandon his son. He hasn't abandoned you, Mitch. He's, he's here with us right now. I don't think so, not after that trial. What do you mean? You defended him. Helen, the whole thing was fake. The whole trial, just like this one. So why did you do it? <laughs> Vicky. We had this... Anyway, it didn't work out. She blamed me. So she arranged the whole thing. She picked my father specifically to make me choose a side. She thinks I'm weak. She knows about my fake mark. She blackmailed me into that trial just like this one. Mitch. You can't run from her forever. This world doesn't offer a lot of choices. You only need one. Yeah, that's it. You got it. Yeah, I th thought I'd figure it out. I'd like to call to the stand General Tyson Kennan, head of the One Nation Earth Peace Corps. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth for the unity of all people? I do. General Kennan, as head of the ONE Peace Corps, how would you characterize the defining beliefs of the world before Franco Macaluso began leading it? It was a so-called Christian era. And could you describe for us, please, what that world was really like? Certainly. Ethnic cleansing. Prejudice and hatred. Wars, both local and global. It was hell. It was hell. Sir, would you please now describe for me what the Peace Corps faces in our world today, since Franco Macaluso has been guiding it? Well, we've had to organize some pretty big parties. <laughs> so God brought war, and Franco Macaluso brought peace? Practically overnight, the world's never been in better shape. And sir, in your expert military opinion, would you say that Franco Macaluso saved our world? He did. Yes. Thank you, sir. I have no further questions. Ask him what price we paid. What? Does the defense wish to cross? No. No, Your Honor. Something. Like what? Object to Macaluso as our savior? I don't think so. Prosecution, let me call your next witness. Your Honor, I'd like to call to the stand Willie Spino, please. <laughs> Do 
Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth for the unity of all people? Sure thing, handsome. <laughs> Mr. Spino, for the benefit of those who don't know the significance, would you mind walking from here to the defense table and back again, please? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is it true that just six months ago, a simple exercise like the one we just enjoyed would not have been possible for you? No, ma'am, it would not. In fact, you couldn't have walked or even crawled across this courtroom. That's right. I was confined to a wheelchair. Well, would you mind telling me how you got the use of your legs back? It was my main man, Franco Macaluso. Lucifer, you fix me up. Mr. Spino, how did Franco Macaluso accomplish such a feat? All I had to do is believe what he promised. Just believe. Have you found any new powers or other abilities since you started trusting Macaluso? Oh, yeah. 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 Check this out. Very impressive. But you're not the only one who has these skills, are you? Oh, no. No, no. Macaluso is teaching everyone about their inner powers. Willie, how do you know the defendant? She's my half sister. Your sister? Was your sister happy for you when you were healed and you could walk again? No. No, she said it was evil and that I should have stayed crippled. A slave to her God who never done nothing for me. Shocking. Truly shocking. Thank you. I have no further questions. Does the defense wish to cross? Ask him what price he paid. You can't expect me to question. Counselor, does the defense wish to cross? Yes, Your Honor. Proceed. Thank you, sir. Mr. Spino, you are a remarkable example of what Franco Macaluso has brought to our world. Poster boy, that's me. <laughs> he's healed your body. He's given you these amazing new mental powers. Look at me. I'm sharper, I'm taller. It's quite impressive. Healings. Global spiritual awakening. Well, can't argue with that. Anything further, Counselor? One more question, Mr. Spino. Do you love your sister? Well, uh, no. I'd, I'd say love is a little strong. It's. It's more like hate. Yes, but before you took Lucifer's mark, she was a hater. Did you love her? Well, yeah. I know, she was my sister. Objection. Totally irrelevant. Objection sustained. Counsel, you're out of line. I'm sorry, Your Honor. This court is adjourned for one hour. And counsel, we need to talk. Stop I thought late. I was supposed to try to make the trial feel authentic. You trapped the witness and played on his emotions. Trapped the witness? I practically handed it to him on a silver platter. All he had to do was say, I love my sister, slam dunk, end of argument. But no, did you even prep this guy? You're not Enough. following the script. I am following... I don't want to have any more conversations in this room, understand?
Yes, Your Honor. Next time I'll hold up cue cards so the prosecution won't fall behind. Oh. <laughs> JT. Be cool, everybody. It's not real. You think we'd be with him if it were? This is Dawn and Dave, friends from way back. No, they're not believers, but they can help us rescue Helen. And what if something happens? They can handle it. Dawn knows security system. Dave used to work at the court. We already have a plan. And one more thing, that lawyer Kendrick, his mark is a fake also. Dawn figured it out. Watch this issue. Oh, look at that. Before that. She was, uh, I saw her. You know, my life is on the line here, too. And I can't start talking about souls and salvations and things that don't exist. I've told you before, I need evidence. I need facts. I need real stuff. Just because you can't see something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? Do you believe in, in joy and truth? How about gravity? They exist, yet we can't see them. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Please, don't spiritualize everything. Okay. Okay. Do you believe in love? What? Do you believe in love? <laughs> yes, of course. Of course I do. Where's your proof? How do you know it exists? I'm, so, I, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have time for this. The time or the will, Mitch. The answers are right in front of you. You're just too afraid to look. You know, I, I, I'm a little confused here. Where's your faith when you're alone in that cell, huh? What? Oh, well, you're being monitored. Huh? I've heard your doubts, I've heard your pleas. No, you sound very convincing now. But I know you're not getting your answers. No, I'm not as strong as I should be. But I'm, I'm human. I'm sc scared. I'm sorry. I have no right. It's okay. It's all my fault. Mitch, I don't want to be here. Sorry to disappoint you. Well, believe me, I... I understand. I wish you did. You called your father's faith a crutch. Yeah, what's easier? Following the rest of the world or standing for God? Because if that's a crutch, it's not a very good one. Do you think... Do you think I like being hated by everyone? like a mindless puppet. That's what you called me. Helen, I wasn't... I, was I may be a believer, but I'm still struggling with, with fears and emotions. Compare this to everyone following my clues. Compare this to Willie. How did you think he was going to answer you? Honestly, I had no idea. Well, it was the right thing to ask. Love is something that... Michael Lusso and his followers no longer understand. But I hope you still do. If you guys aren't believers, then why are you helping us? I promised them jammers. And food! Don't, don't forget the, the food. <clears throat> of course, we'll get you something. But what if something goes wrong? We got backup, honey. You can't be serious. Helen, how am I supposed to defend you? Please help me understand. How am I supposed to defend you? Let me testify. No. No. No way. Besides, I thought you were scared. I'm absolutely terrified. But I'll make you a deal. I'll give you something that'll make Vicky wish she never even mentioned this trial to you. If you let me say what I want to on that stand. You want it back in court. 
You give me what I need, and I'll do what I can. If those 666ers I set on going to hell, I say, why can't we help send them there? Are you sure that mark is fake? If thou do that which is evil, be very afraid, for he buried not the sword in vain. That don't mean that we should go out and start shooting people. It's only going to prove that Macaluso is right about us. Or that maybe our God is greater. This dude can be beaten. All it takes for evil to prosper is for good people to do nothing. But now's not the time. We need to be a light for the rest of the world to see. And this dude kills us, who's gonna be the light then? How much of a light do you think you'll be with that thing on your hand? It's fate, Selma. That's it. A mark on my hand. Nothing more. It still stands for everything evil. It don't stand for nothing. Not when it's on my hand. Hey, guys. Guys, look. The trial's back on. All right. Prosecution, call your witness. The people call Helen Hanna to the stand. Objection. <laughs> Prosecution isn't permitted to call the defendant. Overruled. Your Honor, is counsel not aware that statute was revised in a recent legislative addendum? What? When? Your Honor, I didn't realize the purpose here was to educate the defense in current legal developments. I repeat, I call Helen Hanna to the stand. This may be our chance. I'll tell the truth, but not based on that document. The prosecution has no objection. I'm sure the witness believes that she will be telling the truth. I'll allow it. Ms. Hanna. Do you believe that our great leader is evil? And that all those who follow him are damned? Yes, but Macaluso... Uh, the rest of the world is all paddling in one direction. Paddling to safety, in unity, in peace. And you, you're against this? No. I'm sorry, I'm confused. What do you mean, no? I'm not against peace and unity. In fact, I'm in favor of it. But our eternal hope lies not in this world. Ah. This is the key issue, isn't it, Ms. Hannah? You are willing to sacrifice the safety and harmony of the entire world just to be true to your otherworldly beliefs. Is that right? Yes. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Yes. This god of yours must be very impressive. I wonder what he's like. Have you ever met him, Miss Hannah? No, but Has I... he ever spoken to you? The Bible. I mean in person. Has he ever spoken to you in person, Miss Hannah? No. Has anyone you've ever known, ever seen or heard him? No. I am stupefied that you'd be willing to sacrifice the entire world for someone so unaccountable. I would hate to think that you are being deceived, Miss Hannah. Misled, selfish, and prejudiced. That is what Miss Hannah is. That is what her God wants from all of us. Can our Earth possibly afford to allow anyone to follow a God like this so blindly? I don't think so. I have no more questions, Your Honor. If there is no cross, the witness is asked to step down. Miss Hannah, you may step down. But, Your Honor, I... Please step down. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I, uh... I will cross-examine. Keep it short, Counselor. Yes, Your Honor. Miss Hannah, in this boat of life that Miss Thorne has described, why... Aren't you rowing with everyone else? Unity is important, I understand that. But to believe our hope is in that boat is wrong. Objection. Conjecture. Sustained.
What is two plus two? Four. But what if the whole world wanted it to be five? Would that make it so? No, it wouldn't. Even if everybody agreed on it and it made the whole world really, really happy, it still wouldn't be five? Objection. The defendant's not an expert on math. Overruled. You may answer the question. No, it would still be four. What? Isn't that being a little bit narrow-minded, a little prejudiced? I mean, couldn't you just compromise? After all, everybody really wants it to be five. No, I couldn't, because it's the truth. So the truth is absolute. Objection. The defendant is not an expert on truth. Sustained. I'll rephrase, Your Honor. No, you won't. Anything further, Counselor? No. No, Your Honor. The witness may step down. But you promised me you'd ask me. This isn't the time for your testimony. It'll work better later. Trust me. Does the prosecution have any other witnesses to call? I do, Your Honor. I call to the stand Jesus Christ. Objection. On what grounds? She's grandstanding. The prosecution knows that the witness cannot possibly come to the stand. Counselor. You're the one that wanted this trial to be about him. Objection withdrawn. No, no. Don't withdraw. Admit. Admit that he can't be put on trial. Because he's intangible. Impotent. Obviously powerless. Look at all the tragedies and horrors here on Earth. What about us? On Earth now. If this trial is going to be about him, where is he? Where is this God that demands such obedience? Bitch, please. Son of God! Come defend yourself! Show us some of your powers from your kingdom. Show us some miracles now! Make us believers, or concede defeat. Your god is either a coward, or a fraud, or maybe just a good bedtime story. However, our God is here today. So for my last witness, Your Honor, I call to the stand the only and real savior of humanity, Franco Macaluso. Do I exist? Touch my hand. Come on. Come on, feel my flesh. Am I real? Yes, indeed. Why have you come now, at this time in history? To save you all from destruction. What about the wonderful healings, the teachings of inner power, the miracles? For 2,000 years, these wonderful people have turned to the heavens for help. And for what? For nothing. And why? Because they believed that there was a power outside of themselves. But I have taught you that the power is within. It will always be so. It has always been so. Helen Hannah thinks you're evil. Your name, Lucifer, in her Bible, is the devil, Satan. People still believe in that ridiculous book. A book inspired by someone who hates me, who's jealous of me, who hates the world. For centuries, that book has brought about 
more destruction, more war, more death. And they say that I'm evil? How will you guide us, the people of Earth? In the path of peace. I'm not here to bring you a new heaven, a new Earth for tomorrow. I am here to bring heaven to Earth today! This is a real God. A God of signs and wonders. A God who loves humanity, doesn't think we're sinners, wants to teach us how to love each other and take care of this world now. This is Franco Macaluso, our bright and shining star. This is a God for today and for the future. Defense wish to cross. No. <clears throat> no, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Grace. Prosecution rests. This court is adjourned until tomorrow. Sorry, guys, but I no longer want to be part of this rescue. I know what I'd be born if I was one of them judges. Guilty. Oh, come on, guys. This is a setup. Don't be stupid. They're just trying to win you on their side. And it's working. Look, thanks for the food. The, the Dakotas over there and I'm out of here. Don, 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 where are you going? Are you going to take the mark? I don't know. Maybe. It's just too dangerous around here. Dawn, please, you don't know what you're risking by leaving us. Maybe I don't. But I know what I risk by staying. Please stay. At least give us a chance to explain our side. This better be good. Don't look so down. You're doing everything you can. He sat there telling his lies to the world, and you just let it happen. Well, thanks for the update. This isn't about Vicky. Here, send this message, and you'll be given a time and a place to meet. They'll give you whatever you need. Mitch, I'm trusting you. These people are my friends. Surprises, counselor. No surprises. Better get.
get some sleep, counselor. You need to be at your best tomorrow. Hey man, why didn't you use the tape? All right, look, that's why I'm here. I saw the tape. I believe that you're all innocent, but I'm gonna need something more to back it up. I don't trust you. Well, like it or not, I'm Helen's only chance. I think it's time we start praying. What do you want me to do? Open tomorrow with a walloping chorus of amazing grace? You keep that up, you're gonna need a base grace yourself. Hey. 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 Why are you here? Whatever Helen says in court, nobody's gonna believe it if it's just her word. I'll do it. You do what? What are you, what are you talking about? I'll testify. I'll stand up for Helen. You'll be turning yourself in. Helen is my friend. I want to stand up for her and my faith. All right, look, that is very inspiring, but there is a fine line between being courageous and just plain st stupid. I don't want your deaths on my conscience. I can't say I understand you people, but I do know that you have passion. If you want my help, I'm gonna need some evidence. I need something like that detonator that Swag was holding in the videotape. That's not a problem. We got that. We got a lot of other stuff, too. Just give me a couple hours. Great, great. I'll take whatever you can get. Here. Take this. A cell phone number, just in case you change your mind about my testimony. Yeah, well, I don't think I'll be calling. You may want to risk your life, but I don't. That fool gonna get her killed. Yeah, I'm with JT. It's one thing to let her die for faith. It's another thing to let her die for the world's entertainment. All right. You win. We're here your plan, but remember, Helen wouldn't want us to kill or die for her. What about Kendrick? I don't trust him. Well, he's not the only man I know with a fake mark. <laughs> Mr. Kendrick? Yes, Your Honor. I'd like to request a recess. Denied. But Your Honor... Call a witness or rest. Sam! Bailiff! Remove that woman! Your Honor! I would like to call this witness Selma Davis to the stand. Watch your step, Counselor. Very well. I'll allow it. Kendrick, the court is waiting. Try not to act too hard. Uh, no, crazy. I was going to say crazy. 
you're going to get the same answer you got from Helen. But I do swear to tell the truth. Very well. Proceed, Counselor. You are a member of the group known as the Haters, is that not true? I don't like the label, but I'm honored to be counted as a child of God. Do you know the defendant? She is my brave sister in Christ, and she is my friend. Now, you took great personal risk in, in coming here today, did you not, Mrs. Davis? I will be killed for my beliefs, yes. Objection, conjecture. Sustained. Do you wish to proceed, Counselor? She gave her life to be here. Don't let her die for nothing. Ask what's in your heart. Mr. Kendrick, court is waiting. Why didn't your God appear in court when called? God is not commanded by the wills of men. Ah, but Macaluso. He was here. And God is right here. But he could have defended himself. He could have could have saved his followers. He could have come down from the cross, too, when they mocked him. His ways are not our ways. His resurrection... Objection. The resurrection she's speaking of is a myth. A fairy tale cannot be proven. Try me. Your Honor, the resurrection is indeed central to the Christian faith. If it never happened, then her entire belief falls apart. Continue. If it pleases the court, the defense has no more questions if the prosecution wishes to cross-examine the witness on the resurrection. What says the prosecution? Gladly, Your Honor. Mrs. Davis, you believe that over 2,000 years ago, someone named Jesus died on a cross and then rose from the dead three days later? Yes. An impossible task over 2,000 years ago, and you have proof. Yes, really, concrete evidence. Not mythology or quotes from an old book. Jesus of Nazareth is as established as any other man in history. If you decided to deny his existence, then you'd also have to deny the existence of Aristotle and Caesar and thousands of other historical figures. I'm not questioning whether Jesus was a real man. I'm asking you to prove his resurrection. How many eyewitnesses do you need for a conviction, Ms. Thorne? One, Mrs. Davis? How about 500? 500 documented accounts of people seeing him alive after his crucifixion. When someone we love dies, we often think we see them everywhere. 500 respected people? People who of the time could have been challenged or persecuted for saying such things. Respected people? I, I always heard the story was that the apostles were fishermen and tax collectors and drunks. Not the pillars of society. Yes, a group of men who ran away and denied Jesus when he was arrested, when they honestly believed that Jesus was the Messiah. Kind of weak men to base an argument on, don't you think? Three days after his crucifixion, these same men preached the very gospel that they had denied. They were mocked, tortured, and killed for their faith. If Christ did not rise, these men would never have been heard from again. Ancient history. Ancient history, ladies and gentlemen. This is what the haters choose to believe in some musty old book and fairy tales. What about modern data? Modern data for a modern courtroom. Do you know who Simon Greenleaf is? Yes, of course I do. He was the founder of the Harvard Graduate School of Law and one of the world's greatest authorities on evidence. That's right. And he was asked to put Jesus and the resurrection to the test. He studied all the testimonies, reviewed all the facts, discarded everything that was inadmissible, and concluded that, based upon the evidence, the resurrection is as established as any event you can find in history. Objection! Uh... What are you objecting to? It's your cross. I wonder what he would think of our Earth today. I have no further questions. Thank God. This court is adjourned. Guard escort Mrs. Davis off the stand. Counsel, in my chambers. I'd be looking over my shoulder, too. That is it. What are you doing? 
I wasn't the one who cross-examined Mrs. Davis. No, you called her to the stand. She's an undisclosed witness. I didn't know she was going to be here. Maybe you should have brushed up on Simon Greenleaf a little better. Your Honor, he's one of them. Oh, give me a break. How did you get Selma Davis on the stand? Yeah, Mitch, anything you want to share? I was told to win their confidence. I did. I found their hideout, but I suppose you already knew that. Yeah, well, they're still alive, and I'm questioning your loyalty. But what? Okay, here, look, here. It's a license plate number. That's all I have. Somehow I don't think they're gonna trust me anymore. This isn't a get out of jail free card. Making this trial look real is one thing. Making us look bad is quite another. I don't want any more surprises, Kendrick. Tomorrow we reach a verdict. Let's end this trial with a bang, or all our heads will roll. Go again. No. No, things did not go well. Wait, don't you want me to try and fix it? I fixed it last time. I can't. I've been told to report any breaks in the feed. Ms. Thorne wants to know. Fine. Look, I know you won't believe me, but I'm sorry you're going through all this. Yeah, my father said the same thing. Yeah, I still don't get it, Helen. In a couple of days, they are... He's still concerned about me. Oh, that's right, I forgot. There's another life after this one, right? Mitch, now more than ever, I want to testify. If I can reach even one lost soul, it's worth it. Whatever the punishment. You're still so anxious to die. Think, Helen, please. Please don't be a fool. I beg my father. I begged him. He wouldn't listen. Now I'm begging you, please don't do the same thing. Your father knew that two plus two is four, Mitch. He knew the truth. Well, he was wrong. You're both wrong. Why can't you just see it? You know, I've tried to understand. I have. I've tried to pray. But you're praying to God to do your will. Yes, yes. And I've defended him. I've defended his followers. I thought he's supposed to help his servants. He does. But you can't just pray, you have to have faith. Faith? Our lives are on the line here and that's your answer. I need some help, I need some real help. I need some protection. Look around you, Helen. The cavalry isn't coming. No one is gonna save you. You're about to die for someone who will not even show his face. No, Mitch, God gave his life for us. Oh, please spare me. You know I heard this all from my father. Why don't you try living in this world? Your father loved you. No, no he didn't. Loved his God. Has it been down since you called me? Yeah. You know, I, I should have defended you with an insanity plea. All you offer are platitudes and speeches, and I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. I have tried to listen. Something's I up. have tried to understand. I have Search him. you have not. You're just like my father. Both of you so blinded by this light of heaven that you have no idea what is right in front of you. Hell, they are about to execute you. And it will be over. It's Kendrick. We have orders to search you. That's ridiculous. We I'm have our down. orders over there. He's clean. You can go. trial in history had taken an unexpected turn today. Defense attorney Mitch Kendrick has called known hater and terrorist Selma Davis as a witness. Here with her commentary is WNN legal expert Kathleen Walker. Yes, I'm very surprised by Kendrick's approach today. He's refused all credible witnesses and... In credible witness? What a joke. The sooner we put an end to this mess, the better. You know how to operate that thing? Yeah, yeah, Don made this thing uh, idiot-proof. I mean, not that I'm an... <clears throat> and the fire escape our best chance. <laughs> I used to sneak my smokes there. I mean, no one's there. No one's around there. Get ready to drive, Jake. As soon as the last shift leaves, we're gonna move in. 
You know, JT, I'm, uh, I'm still not sure about this plan. I mean, I know Selma and, and Helen would not want you to do it, especially if you got to use violence. What about Sherry? I know they feel this is God's will. And Sherry felt the same way. But this ain't God's world anymore. It belongs to the devil. And the more we do nothing, the longer it's going to remain that way. Yeah, I understand that. Hey, man, we got to do this here. For the people who can't. Come in. Kendrick's been using this to hide his conversations with Helen. Upset that he's cheating better than you? Relax. He's ambitious, but he's on our side. His mark is fake. What? It fools the detectors. He's listed on the databank. But it's fake. He's not on our side. Who knows about this? Me.
here, Dave. We wait for your signal. God go with you. Thanks. And hey. Be careful. Yeah, just don't need all of these, all right? copies of those surveillance tapes, okay? I don't want that idiot to erase them. Yes, sir. Glad you could join us, Counselor. We were about to begin without you. An idea the prosecution loved, no doubt. If you're ready to proceed, the prosecution will now present its closing statement. The... The defense never... Rested, Your Honor. The defense has another witness? Yes, Your Honor. The defense wishes to call the Chancellor of One Nation Earth, Franco Macaluso. Mitch, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Helen. It has to be this way. I would love to testify. My work for the people never done. I came to bear witness to the truth. All those that are of this truth must hear my voice. Counselor, you may proceed. Your eminence, let me ask you, why are we here today? I guess it's because Miss Hannah refuses to believe that truth. She's full of prejudice and hatred. She refuses to believe in my miracles. She wants to believe that there's a world after this one, a better world. Worst of all, she believes in the lie, the lie that is Jesus. How dare you? You are the lie! Silence! The defendant will sit or be removed. You can't blame her, Your Honor. You have to blame the one that she follows. Miss, what do you say? She could be a decent person if it weren't for him. You can't do this! Enough! Guards, remove her! It's you, please. Does the defense wish to 
rest? A few more questions, Your Honor. Counselor, you may proceed. Grimmins. It is obvious to all of us here today, but why should Miss Hannah believe that you are the one true savior of this world? Because I can bring her heaven on earth! Your Honor, the court will permit one final demonstration. Don't worry, Your Honor. I'll remove the bullets. Bailiff, would you please hold out your hand? Hold these. Well, with so many passionate followers here today, there must be someone who is totally Thoroughly committed to Macaluso, hmm? Good. Good. Excellent. Your Honor, I'd like to call one final witness. I would like to call anyone to the stand who is willing to die for Lucifer. Bailiff, how many bullets are in your hand? Five. remains. So I ask again, who here willing to take this bullet for their savior? Oh, come on, people. He's here to save the world. He's given you heaven on earth. Doesn't anyone, anyone want to save him? about you, Your Honor. Trouble's brewing. Get to the court. Do I look patient? JT, in the drawer. Hurry! What about you, Vicky? Don't you want to save your God? I don't blame you. blame any of you. Death, death is a frightening thing. And to die for someone else, that is, that is the greatest of sacrifices. Come on! Franco Macaluso offers us heaven on earth. Then who can deny it? Look around here today. We do have a great world, but One day, this world, this, this body, this paradise, it will pass away. And when it does, it is over. So what if, just, what if God did conquer this death through his love for us? You see, that's what Christians believe. That is why Christians renounce Macaluso and his paradise here today, because they know the truth. There is a better world. And with simple belief, an eternal paradise. Kendrick, on this day shall ye know that I am master of this world. My treasure is in heaven, not in this world. I renounce this mark. I denounce this fake trial and everything that goes with it! <laughs>
Starks season. Order! 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 JT, don't. There's a better way. What department? Aside, you take a bullet for your new god. My commitments were never in question. You're a fool, just like your father. Tell you that the ONE wasn't the only one listening to your prayers. 